Hi everyone, it's Fiona from Lavender Blue. Welcome back to my channel. And this is part two of um, creating a, a fabric covered journal. So in the first part we um, made our cover. So in this video um, we're going to decorate the cover. So I'm going to try and keep it fairly simple because I know there are beginners out there watching. And um, I haven't actually decided exactly what I'm going to do because I tend to make things up as I go along. So I'll just show you what I've got here and show you my process of deciding how I want to decorate it. So I've decided I wanted to keep this one... Um, in the floral theme and the colors um, like blue and pink and cream pastel type colors so what I've done is I have cut out a few printables and these ones are from my new kit which is um, botanical floral We've got botanical floral journal cards here and they've got some beautiful um, vintage botanical pages on there and um, so I decided I wanted to use some sort of journal cards on the cover so I've printed out those ones and also these ones which are from my pink shabby note cards and they're both in ATC size, which is two and a half by three and a half inches. So I think I'm going to use one of each of these. I'm going to use two of these to put on the cover. Um, I just need to decide which ones I like. But I'll just show you what I've also printed out in preparation. And I'll put the link to these below so you can find them in my Etsy shop. So I've also printed out more of the botanical pages. And these are the double journal pages that come in the kit. I've printed some of those out for actual pages when I go to put them in the journal. And so that's just some of them. And then I've also printed out some little size pages that you also get. And you can use them as they are or cut them down to make pockets or envelopes, which I might do. I haven't quite decided yet, so I've printed those ones out. And then I've also printed out some of my um, fairy and botanical um, ephemera. And I'll also put the link to that one below because it has, you know, a lot of um, botanicals in it and some uh, related type things, blue butterflies and I want to use these blue tickets in there as well. So, but that will probably not be on the cover. I'll probably use these later on in the journal. And the other thing I have is... Um, I've printed an envelope template onto um, some uh, designer paper that I had and this is one that I've had for quite a few years and it's from Kazaz which is an Australian um, scrapbooking company um, and with the blues I thought I would use this and this is my um, template printable um, I have a couple of templates of envelopes and pockets where you can just print them onto any patterned paper and they'll come out like this. They already have a kind of a tea dyed um, edges so you can still re-ink them if you want to but all you have to do is cut them out and glue them together. So this one here I wanted to actually put inside the cover. So yeah, I wanted to place an envelope in here to put extra ephemera and maybe a pocket in the back here. Um, I might make it a fabric pocket 
So let's just have a look and see. Um, so the first thing I want to think about though is my closure. And I think I want to use this pink, um, this beautiful pink ribbon. But rather than wrapping it all the way around, I'm going to just sew it. So I've got to sew a piece here and then a piece inside the back and then just tie those together. There is another way I could have done this. And that is to glue this all the way across the inside with your ends hanging long enough to tie. Um, I could have glued this in before I even glued the fabric down. So you could have done it that way as well. And then glued the fabric on the top or paper, whatever you're using. But as I didn't do it that way, I'm going to cut a couple of strips and just sew them down here with a straight stitch so I'm going to go ahead and do that I just need to cut the straight edge and how long to make sure I can tie it doesn't need to be really long depending on how big you want your bow to be so maybe better to have too much than not enough so I'm cutting that at about well, I'd say it's about 30 centimeters length of a ruler but it's probably a lot more than what I need so I'll cut out two strips like that Cut out two strips the same. And then, so all I'm going to do is go to my sewing machine and sew these on and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I've sewn on my ribbon. And I actually ended up using, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the zigzag stitch because um, this is so thin I don't know if the straight stitch will hold that and stop it from fraying so okay and so I cut the lengths around about a ruler length and yeah that's about right I think I like that look there so that's that now, I need to decide how I want to put these cards on. And I have a little piece of blue, old blue cardstock here, which I thought I would back them onto that and have a little border of blue around, because in keeping with the pink, pink and blue theme, thought I would add a little bit of blue onto the cover so um, I think I want to use um, this one this one here I don't know if you can see it they're quite small um, Actually, I hope the lighting is okay. I might just turn my light on and see if that makes a difference. Oops. Um, yeah, so that one there. And I really like this one here in the corner. I'm not sure what they are, but they're beautiful flowers so I'm just going to cut them out and then let's see there's you know millions of ways you can decorate your journal cover obviously 
Um, you can sew pieces of fabric on there, pieces of lace, old doilies, any, anything at all. Um, hardware, pieces of metal, which I actually like. A mixture of paper, metal and fabric. I'm not sure what kind of metal findings I've got to use on this one, but... Um, so that's that one. The rest I'll use inside the journal. I thought I could put these two sort of this way together. Um, okay, I'll just cut this one out and see. And I've just printed them onto a fairly thin cardstock. Hard, uh, white. Um, sometimes it looks okay printed onto cream cardstock as well, but I do believe the colours come out better when you use white cardstock. as well. So I'm just going to mark off I can find my pencil. Mark off about oh probably an eighth of an inch around edges of the cards. do anything technical really to measure. Then I can use that as a template for the other one. This has a bit of a water stain on it, but I'm not too bothered. You shouldn't be able to see that. Cut this one out. get my ink so I've got some Tim Holtz distress ink and this one is called tea dye this is a makeup sponge Just go around the edges of the cards um, because it just defines the edges. You get the white, the white core of the paper showing through otherwise, and I just like the look of this a bit better, a bit stressed, and it just defines everything a little bit better. And around the edge of this one as well. It's probably got some darker ink on the sponge already. It, um, I think I was using some sepia ink at one stage, but that's okay. And 
And I'm just contemplating whether to sew around this or whether to just glue it down. Um, I think because the edges of my fabric are sewn, I might just sew around these as well before I glue them down. And I might even add some extra little touches, like some eyelash trim and some buttons, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to sew around, just sew around the edges of these and I'll be back. So I have sewn around the edges of my little cards here and I've used the cream cotton again but you could use something contrasting like a pink or a blue or a black or a brown but yeah I just like the way the stitching looks. So I decided what I want to do is I want to put these sort of like this here and there on the cover. I think maybe this one down a little bit like this, yeah. So I can still see that top flower. And then I'm thinking thinking of something along the bottom here, some type of trim. And on the cards themselves, I might glue a little bit of mm, a little bit of eyelash trim in the corner there. I've got some pink eyelash trim here. So across here, um, I've got out a few things, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I could use a little bit of lace. That would look nice. I could actually put it all the way around, front to back. Let's do that. Oh, I have this beautiful old doily which was actually sent to me by Nat, Nat Williams. Thanks very much, Nat, for that. Um, just not sure. That looks quite nice. I actually have this little bag, little embroidery bag that I found in a second hand shop and it's got some nice um, some beads here on the, the handle and then this nice little piece of some beautiful beading on the end of the drawstring but I was just thinking about this bit of fabric here putting it I might put that inside the journal somewhere. And then I have this old, oh well, I don't know how old it is, but it's a lace napkin with some little blue flowers. Mm, that looks quite nice. Just see, this is my process. I just kind of try things out and see what see what looks nice and what doesn't. So maybe not that one. Some little pieces of fabric in here. And this one has the blue and the. Blue and pinks on here. 
corners of the map. I actually quite like that. Actually, you quite like that. Maybe without the lace. I put a strip of that on there then I have some buttons here these are all kind of different shades of pink so I could put some buttons along the border maybe one here mm. yeah I think I quite like that Um, but what I'll do is I'll just cut this piece of fabric off just to fit the front cover and then I might cut a separate piece I'm sure I've got more of this I might decorate the back cover with something different or just leave it as it is. So I'm going to put this strip along here. I need to cut that off. Cut it to about here. off and you can either once again sew or glue this on I'm going to glue down the glue down the, the cards first the right size yep so I just need to get my clear glue for this because that's what I usually use to um, glue down my papers here is actually a clear cheap craft glue nothing you know nothing really fancy or expensive um, I just find the clear glue uh, is a drier glue not like when you try to coat on PVA or or this type of thing um, the white glue it's more wet and it can make your paper buckle I mean it's good for other purposes um, such as how I used it to paint all over the fabric 
or if you're painting all over the back of a, a page do you want to glue the whole thing down um, the wet glue is good for that um, but I find a clear glue is much better for um, if you're just going around the edges um, and you want it to dry fairly quickly it's really good for that so that's all I use um, yeah you can buy the more expensive glues if you wanted to but I just find these work just as well so that one I'm putting at that angle like this this one I'm going to put down like this and that needs a bit more time you need to hold that down a bit longer for it to dry doesn't take too long so as I said I'm doing this fairly simply I don't want it to be too complicated um, so I think I'm gonna leave the back cover and the spine plain because um, I also want to be able to see the floral uh, images that are on there. This one's going this way. And if you want sometimes a better glue um, is um, glossy accents. It's a dimensional medium but it's also a glue and that glues thicker things or metal findings or things like that it glues them down really well and the same with um, plastic buttons if you don't want to sew them on so that's stuck down pretty well now and yep yeah, I think that's going to look really pretty Now let's have a look at the piece of fabric. Okay. Yeah, and it's kind of, I kind of like the way it looks as though that's um, a pocket and the, that's poking out of the pocket there. But it makes me think I need to put something up in this corner here. I'm not really sure yet. But I can always decide that later on. So once again I'm going to go and I'm going to sew this piece of fabric on because I've already got the stitching coming down here. I'd rather continue it all the way around. So I'll just go ahead and do that and I'll be back again. Okay, so I'll stitch that on and I left the top open because I want it to be like a little pocket there. It's not actually the straightest stitching in the world. You can see there's a bit of a pucker there. <laughs> but um, I'm not too fussy. I can probably fix that up later. I'll add a bit of a tr bit of trim across there. Um, so now I've got my um, glossy accents. And I just need to re-poke a hole in there because it dries out when you don't use it for a while. And I'm going to use that for the buttons. So one would look nice there. Um, Let's 
Maybe this is what I do. I'll sort of look at it for a while and see what I think. So it's always hard when you're trying to create on camera because, especially when you haven't really planned what you want to do. I'm going to keep it down there. So I just put the glue around the edge of my button. And it would be nice sewn on as well. I may even later on just add some stitching in there just to give it something. There's that one. And we've got a medium or a smaller one and then One goes that way or that way. I think it can go either way. I'll go on this one. And it will take a little while for this to dry, but it doesn't take it long to get... Um, to get sticky and so that it is actually holding it in place. That one there. Okay. That's my cover so far and I was thinking of the eyelash trim of maybe just bunching some up and putting it in the corner of the um, the cards. I think that will be a nice little extra but I might do that later on. So just to show you what you can do. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the envelope to glue inside here. So I'll just find that. What do I do with that? As I said, I'll put a link to this template below the video. I'm not sure exactly what size this envelope is, but I'll measure it. When I've cut it out and let you know. I had to put the um, these side flaps on separately so that they would all fit onto the one piece of paper. That's all good. You just glue them on.
You could also make a policy type envelope um, where you do it up with a little piece of string if you wanted to, to go inside. Um, or just a pocket or you could just leave it as it is. Um, you could also put in a book plate. I like to put an envelope inside the front cover sometimes if I can. And that's nearly dry now. So we just um, fold these on the line there. Or did I fold that the wrong way? Back this way. And then Sorry. Um, so these oh, can't be right. Let me fold these down first. Sorry, guys. I often get confused with things like this, and I should know because I created it myself. Okay, so that's got to go oh, like this. Yeah, so we glue it on like this. the um, clear glue again take that to the edge Same thing. So that's the top flap here, the longer one, the flatter one, we just glue onto these edges here, like so, and you've got, that's the top flap there. So I'm just going to add glue onto these edges.
Then we have our nice envelope. Just wait for that to dry a little bit. Good idea just to pop a ruler in or something just to make sure you haven't um, glued it down to the back of the envelope. Okay, so that's all ready. And I'll just, I said I would measure, it is 5 inches by 3 and nearly three and a half, just shy of three and a half, three and a half by five. Get my cover. And I'm going to glue this in this way. So that yeah, when you open it up, you open up the envelope this way. Or should I do it this way? No, this way. So it's opening up sort of inside your book there. And you can add some sort of a closure here if you want to as well. You could also just glue three sides and make this a pocket. But I'm going to glue the whole thing down. in the middle there and I'm just putting it slightly over the stitching of the closure there as well Down well. Okay, so that's my envelope and the front of my cover. Um, so I may even add a piece of trim across the top here, maybe another little piece of thin uh, ribbon or lace. But for now, I'm quite happy with that, the way that looks and the pot closure here. <laughs> Got my envelope in there and I may put a pocket in the back, but that can always be done later on. So I think for now that ends this video. So we've now made our cover, we've decorated our cover and in the next video we will start preparing our pages for the inside and sew our signatures in. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye bye.